Welcome to the rocket profile of the Scout Launcher, which puts small satellites into orbit for more than three decades. The variant you see here is the Scout G, and I'll provide stats for the Scout A and the Scout G. All stages are solid motors. The first stage was named the Al Gol, and it was derived from the Polaris missile. Its vacuum thrust ranged from 564 kN in Scout A to 621 kN for Scout G. The Scout A duration was 47 seconds, while it was 56 seconds for the Scout G. Even the diameter of the stage increased from 1.01 meters to 1.14 meters. Surface specific impulse ranged from 211 seconds to 233 seconds over the years. As you notice, the Scout is launched at an angle due to its high thrust to weight ratio and limited control. It does have some simple RCS which is used for control on the second stage and to spin up the third stage before the fourth stage fires. The second stage is called Caster, and it is the basis of the Caster 1s and Caster 2s used on Thor and Delta rockets, as well as the Japanese N1, N2, and H1 rockets. It was ultimately derived from the Sargent surface-to-surface -surface missile. The second stage has not changed over the versions. It provides 268.9 kilonewtons of thrust for 37 seconds at a specific impulse of 272.6 seconds. The third stage of Scout was called Antares. It started out with 93.1 kN of vacuum thrust, then got upgraded in Scout E to 100.5 kN, while the burn time dropped from 34.8 seconds to 32.2 seconds. Then, on flights with the third variant of the Antares stage, Scout G had 82.3 kN of thrust for 45.4 seconds. The Scout A through F Antares had an ISP of 282 seconds, the Scout G version managed 296 seconds of ISP. The final stage had to be spin stabilized by the third stage and ignited at apoapsis. Called Altair or Altair, it had 22.24 kN of thrust in Scout A, burning for 28 seconds with a specific impulse of 265.9 seconds. In Scout G, it provided 24.47 kN for 31.6 seconds with an ISP of 288.4 seconds. Scout's payload capacity went from 110 kg on Scout A in 1965 to 208 kg with Scout G, which had its first flight in 1979 and the final Scout flight in 1994. There were versions before Scout A, the first orbital Scout launched a 7kg Explorer 9 satellite in February of 1961. For Scout A through G, there were 71 orbital flights, with 68 successes and 3 failures for a 95.8% success rate, not including the early X variants from 1961 to 1965. And on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Scout rocket.